Greetings, Galadians. This is me, San Joseph, and my first Q&A ever. I'm kind of nervous about doing this, but let's plow on ahead, shall we? Yeah, I'm just going to go right down the list here, and, and the first question is asked by Zuppansana. He asks, Hey, ASL, favorite pony, when you become a brony? Musical history and experiences, favorite artist, future plans, zombie invasion, what do you do? Any strange or unusual talents, or and any other hobbies? Well, jeez, don't ask so many questions at once, and I mean, leave some questions for the rest of the people. To which they respond, too late, marry me? Well, to whom? But yes... Going in order, ASL. Well, I don't really know any sign language, and my f fingers tend to get jumbled up. up. So I don't think I'll be picking that up anytime soon. Now, when I became a brownie, it was back around Season 1, Episode 4, I believe. Eve, I was just really skimming the TV tropes forums, and... and I I kept noticing the, the thread for the My Little Pony thing going, and yeah, just on a whim, I decided to check it out because it was staying there for quite a long time, and I th believe that's where I got hooked. Now, before I continue on, I really want to say this. I'm not actually a fan of the word brony. It just doesn't sit right with me. It, for me, it's such a bad pun that it feels more like nails on a chalkboard to my ears. And yes, uh, future plans. Well, I'm actually kind of looking to expand my channel a bit. Perhaps to do a few Let's Plays. Is Unfortunately, uh, before I do that, I'd have to figure out why a computer's internet thing isn't connecting. It's, I don't know, it's just not working. I did a lot of things, but it's just not doing it. It's like the ISP is missing for some reason. And yeah. Oh, speaking of, of internet thingy and getting things to work, I'm actually, I actually want to start my own website so I can... And centralize all my uh, things, upload stuff there. And I'm actually don't know how to do that. So if someone would like to help, I'd I'd love it. I'd love it. Ooh, the notes just reminded me. Yes, I will. We'll try to start up some perhaps like a t shirt shop up and I don't know, maybe I'll have like Carnal Cat's dress. This has become available. Huh. Zombie invasion. What do I do? Well, I don't know. Shoot from the hip and aim for the head, I guess. That or plant several rows of Gatling pea shooters with torchwood in front of them. Behind the shooters, I would have melon pulse to apply splash damage. I would also have some spike weeds in the back to deal with the mining zombies. Any strange or unusual talents? Hmm. You can do this. Okay, on to question number two. Swagopedia wants to know, who is best pony? I don't know. For me, it's a tie between Applejack and Rainbow Dash. Mostly because Applejack has the cute hat and Rainbow Dash can fly. Out of the background ponies, however, it would have to be Tracy Flash. Because she's got both the cute hat and the ability to fly. Sugarcane 59242 who wants to know... Can you remember any fanfic that you now regret reading? Hard mode. Not Cupcakes or Rainbow Factory, because, I mean, come on. What exactly do you mean by hard mode? I'm the guy who wrote the Cupcake Soundscape, for goodness sake. That's not to say there aren't any fanfics that I regret reading. One in particular stands out. I believe it's called Eyes Without a Face, and I... If I remember correctly, it was about this pony who went around who did horrible things. Yeah, but the part that got to me was actually 
the fact that any time there was a named mayor, she was as good as dead. Got to the point where the body count would just get where I just started growing apathetic to their inclusion. I mean, there are plenty of murder stories out there with the victim is female, and it's kind of why I enjoy the irony that my cupcake soundscape is enjoyed by enjoyed the most by girls. <laughs> Not that I want more female killers, preferably less female victims, actually. Yeah, one of the things I enjoy about the show is that it has so many female characters I can relate to. Characters who actually have a role beyond being the girl. I also like the fact that the, bo the boys who are on the show aren't treated as the boys most of the time. It actually kind of saddens me when I see he boys shouting out, Add more, add more male characters so I can relate to them. Uh, relate as in how? As in being the only boy in a group of amongst girls? That's not really all that awkward, seriously. And yet, in many of the situations, the main six have to deal with are genderless. And can be related to anyone. Uh, before I get into... Complete rant, Mo. And let's add on to the next question. Mel's Diner asks, What sort of inspirations lead you to make the ditties you do? Diddy Discord? <laughs> In the Daddy Discord stuff, you have to ask if you like Screwball or simply had a good idea. How's that going? Are you still working on that? I generally he, use other songs as my base foundation. Like in Daddy Discord, it's clearly based around fan of the opera. Carnival Cat is actually not an exception to that. Believe it or else, I was originally planning on using the melody of Daddy Discord in, in an instrumental duet between Vinyl Scratch and Octavia. When it, I mean, when it became obvious I didn't know how to produce the right electronic beats for Vinyl's parts, I had to look for other ways to use the melody. And, and why, why, Jack, why went with Discord and Screwball. Well, I... Well, there's this one picture I saw that really inspired it. I can't remember where, where it is, but... That, yeah, it was pretty much Screwball crying over... Over Discord's statue, saying something like, Daddy, and I... It just clicked. Things just fell into place, and... And, yeah, th that's how the song came out to be. As for if I'm going to be continuing with that project, I'm actually holding off on that until we find out more about Discord. So sit tight and cross your fingers. I doubt that, that the creators of the show will make an entire episode dedicated to Discord, but maybe they'll make a small nod. They, are, they already did make a nod in the Season 2 poster. That was pretty cool. Oh, and before I forget, and I see this question asked so many times on the PMV. Who, who is Scru who is the Screwball's mother? There is no mother. Discord pretty much just snapped his fingers and she came into being. And, and Screwless is not... Yeah. And don't even get started with the Screwless stuff. Screwless was the family dog. And we can leave it at that. Mount Coskella has two questions. Hey, SJ, what's your favorite song you composed and your favorite song on the show? Hmm, my favorite song I have composed isn't so much a full-fledged song, but a melody. But specifically, the melody of Carnival Cat. I use it everywhere. As for songs from the show, I really like the Cupcake song and the Parasprite Polka. And what music software do you use? Well... At the moment, I use Sonar Home Studio 4, but I hope to upgrade to 8 sometime in the future. Hopefully the staff view isn't as borked as some people are making it out to be. And even though this isn't part of the question, and I use the SGM2 sound font, which is attached directly to my sound card, meaning I don't have to worry about attaching it to every single project of mine. I also use the Idoral, Idoral? Idoral? orchestral sound font, as well as some others, like Itchy Seismic, again, the DSK Darkness Theory, and the Super Spookies. Uh, uh, the Zeppelin Sun has another question. 
the origin of your YouTube name and what it means. Oh, uh, my YouTube name and I go back a long way to before even Catherine Spark. I was really little at the time, something like five or six, and I was watching TV and there was a movie clip. There was a clip from the movie Beetlejuice playing on TV. It was at the part where Beetlejuice was reading a newspaper where it mentioned the sexy sandworms. It was at the time my young eyes and brain misread the title as San Joseph. I decided to just borrow that name for a character of mine and decided to add an S and to, I, and, yeah, to add an I to the, before the E to be original. And that's how I got the name Jose. Okay, some guy who watches stuff I've asked, as an artist and writer, I'm kind of curious what your inspirations were, you know, other than MLP. Oh, I draw inspirations from everywhere. Or be it from video games, video game music, like, yeah, obviously Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, I also draw influences from more class, from more classical composers, like Andrew Lloyd Webber, and occasionally take inspiration from Hans Zimmer. Mostly with my uh, driving beats, even during the quiet parts, to keep up the intensity. Parasprite Lover asks, What pony sites or subsites do you visit? EQD, Tumblr, Reddit, DA? Um, uh, I wouldn't really call DeviantArt or Tumblr a pony site, or even a subsite for that matter, but you can find me there. Or, more specifically, at DeviantArt and occasionally on Equestria Daily. Most of the time, though, you can find me right here, prowling YouTube. Mostly on Minecraft videos these days. Now, which brings me right to my next question. MicroSegatendo64 asks, says, well, I got the Minecraft addiction syndrome, I see. I remember when I had that. Speaking of it, here's my question. What is the coolest thing you've made so far in Minecraft? Well, most of the times I... Since my internet is down on my computer, I have to play on the Xbox version. And pretty much the largest build I've ever done was a giant hole in the ocean. Above which there were floating islands. As, a f as, no, as far as redstone is concerned... I generally cram as much, try to cram in as many redstone gadgets into a small place as possible. It's a quite an interesting challenge seeing how many e, e mechanisms you can n put into one single space. Actually, it'd be kind of kind of neat to see how other people would pull that off. A bunch of glowing powder asks, "Are you a member of?" Brohoof.com. Unfortunately, like I've said a bit earlier, my internet connection on my computer is down, and, and I have absolutely no idea how to fix that. I mean, the c a connection is there; it's just not letting me get on. Kind of frustrating, actually. I mean. I really would like to expand my channel to more than just just uh, music. I perhaps, yeah, get into like the let's play area. But until I get a better setup, I have to stick with this equipment. So, yeah. An omniscient goth asks, "What's your favorite musical theater song or score?" I don't really have a favorite musical theater song or score. Or, I mean, Phantom of the Opera comes to mind, but that one's mostly because I'm the most familiar with it. However, I am a fan of the, the theatrical sound. It's just fascinates me. So yeah, um, the first Link brother asks. How do you feel about Furies? I never really understood why people hate them. The Furies are right. As long as I stay on their good side of law and order, I should probably be okay. 
Furries are also alright, as long as they don't get too weird with Rule 34. Speaking of Rule 34, I'm surprised I haven't seen any suggestive fan art of Kind of like Cat, given how suggested the lyrics are. Or like, I mean, heck, I don't know where I came up with half the lyrics for that. I mean, saddle up your pride or come get to know me, my little pony. It, it, uh, ever since someone asked if I would be mad if I saw Rule 34 of the Cat, I've been oddly curious to see how that would turn out. DJ Darksea asked, have you eaten Vegemite, Lamingtons, or Anzac biscuits? If not, try them all. Not at the same time, though. I don't know. I might have to take on that challenge now. Not right now, though. I have things I want to do. 300 Musical Mice and Zombie the Killer Slayer. They both want to know where I, where and how I came up with the Carnival Cat, both the pony and the song. Oh. Well, like my YouTube name, the song and I go way back. Back before I even started actively composing music. I think it was... It, it, was, that, it was after I got the name St. Joseph. Hey, but... It was actually... When I first wrote the song, it was... It was strange. I heard a part in a, another song that I really liked, and somehow managed to screw up trying to transcribe that and came up with something completely different and that's how I got the chorus part the and da 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 that part and when I hit when I hit the end of that I my hands just started playing the main melody the la da da la da 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 ya da 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 and an interesting note about the fanfare is, is that it pretty much happened the same way. My my pinky is just suddenly started moved one note higher and changing the diminished chord into a major chord. I think it's actually trying to play a major chord, but my finger was the hand was playing a diminished chord the whole whole time until the until that very last note. <laughs> Funny how things turn out. Loose Voodoo Finn and the Macaroni Man, and both want to know what's the story behind the Carnival Cat, not the she kidnaps the CMC. I mean, how her character came to be. Actually, since that's pretty much the same thing as before, I'm actually going to treat this as a as about her origin story, which unfortunately I don't actually have set in stone. She is. I originally intended her to just, just be a yeah, lone character, or kind kind of like the creepypasta in the woods, so to speak. He, pulling inspiration from the old evil carnival appears, which, which actually, yeah, the the, the carnival that the carnival cat oh, has isn't actually a carnival; it's a theme park. Which is, which makes her a very amusing, amusing, com like comments and stuff. And yeah, since I don't actually have a set in stone origin story, I'll leave that up to you, my subscribers' imaginations. How about this? Come up with a backstory of your own in the comments below, and I'll pick and choose between my favorites, or do what I usually do and just mash all the ideas into one big mess. Mm, and on to the final question. Miles of Titans asks, Have you really been far even as decided to use even go on to do look more like? Mm, only on Tuesdays. Well, I guess this wraps up this Q&A session. I'm sorry if I missed any of your questions. Feel free to ask them in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer them there. And, and once again, I'd like to thank you all for, for, for well, putting up with me and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, well, before I completely lose my ability to speak, uh, let me bid you farewell. 
And with that, I bid you all farewell. Good night.